Objective Bravo. Take your fire over here. Take your Bravo. Contact! Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty, and you're going to owe me for this one, because I'm about to tell you how to have the most fun you can possibly have. Well, the kind of fun that you can actually tell people about in public, and that is the Jack Lance aftermarket kit for the MX Guardian OG shotgun. It is absolutely amazing, and once I learned how to use it after about five or six games, it became a lot of fun, and I'm going to tell you what I discovered first let's step back in time for a second and let's see what it takes to get the Jack Lance aftermarket kit the conversion kit and that is the week two challenges you need to complete five out of seven uh, all seven are easy it's like not getting served to you on a silver platter more like a paper plate that's how easy they are and it took less than two games to complete all of them I had the Jack Lance aftermarket kit for the MX Guardian back to the Jack Lance the key is how to configure it and you configure it based on your intended usage and I did configure it incorrectly the first time at least for my intended usage my excuse is I didn't know how I intended to use it I thought you aim down sight pull the trigger and a bolt flies out of it and gacks the enemy and that is what happens but it doesn't happen as often as it could if you use the weapon in a different way I mean I did get a few collaterals but overall I wasn't having a good time with it. So let's take a look at this configuration and we'll start with the Jack Lance conversion kit. Now here's a really weird thing. Look at the range. Effective damage range is 25.4 meters. That is 1k percent higher, meaning a thousand percent higher, 10 times higher than the normal range for the MX Guardian in the shotgun mode. I've never seen 1k percent before. If you have common below really where minimum damage range is exactly the same bullet velocity is only 110 meters per second so you're that should give you a clue as to how you use this weapon because you're not going to be shooting people who are sprinting or diving or dolphin diving or hopping at 25.4 meters let's take a look at the damage headshot damage 300 that is 711 percent increase as is the upper and lower torso uh, over 600% each. Even the upper legs is a one-shot gag. So you touch the enemy within 25 meters and they're falling. That is absolutely astounding to me. And the rate of fire is 274.3 rounds per minute. Rechamber time is about twice as fast as the average sniper rifle, and that's kind of how I started out using it. Now look at the accuracy. That is what we need to focus on. The way it's configured, this is a composite configuration. Numbers from everything that I hung on this beast, 1.1 degrees per second for the hip fire spread, and tax stance, less than a degree per second. In fact, it is 0.7 degrees per second. I haven't seen two... I I haven't seen a combination of the two quite that low and hip fire is the way to go with this weapon it is a hip fire beast it completely changed my life with the mx guardian once i started hip firing and i did it quite by accident uh, enemy was close i pulled the trigger because of my configuration before the hip fire was more than three degrees per second so once I realized up close, like a gack the enemy with a hip fire, I went and hung the finest, most pinpoint hip fire attachments that I could hang on the beast. ADS movement speed, 3.4 meters per second. That's pretty good. Movement speed's pretty low, but we're hip firing anyway. Empty reload quickness is three seconds. Sprint to fire is 127 milliseconds. That's good as gold there. Let's have a look at the rest of the attachments. 
the Verdant Hook Cylindrical Laser. The only thing I was going for, get the hip fire spread down, and it did almost 40%. Same with tack stance, around 40%. The Bruin Tactical Vertical Grip, 42% on the hip fire, 45% on the max, 46% on tack stance. Hey, if y'all can do the tack stance on this better than the hip fire, tack stance would be the way to go. Grandpa just does not feel as confident doing tack stance with single shot weapons. Slate reflector, it's an optic, and I realize the ADS speed is impacted, but you know what? I'm hip firing and quick scoping because the quick scope is still very, very good with this weapon. Of course, you can go without an optic at all. Just for the 20 meter engagements, I wanted to use an optic. And for the stock, the EXF impact pad. And you can see again, decreases the hip fire spread, decreases tack stance, and I'm not even worried about the recoil. Let's take a look at this weapon in the firing range. All right, if we're aiming down sight, let's get within 25 meters. One shot gag. All right, let's try the hip fire. That's actually the tack stance, now the hip fire. So yeah, you can see that this is a good tack stance. It's a good hip fire. Every bit as good as ADS in either of the two. Let's take the Jack Lance equipped MX Guardian onto the field of honor. See how it did for Grandpa and see how it annoyed Grandpa's sometimes friendly enemies. Let's go. All right, let's get after it. Now, this is the first game where I tried just pure hip shooting after I configured it as I've just shown you. And there was an ADS miss hip shot hit. To get anywhere close to the enemy, the hip shot is unfailingly accurate. Now, I did get some long shots too. Don't, don't get me wrong. I got a few long shots aiming down sight. But the hip shot is just fun and it's awesome. Fish are biting from somewhere. Oh, <laughs> there was a miss. Okay, so sometimes even Grandpa can mess it up there. Something that easy. There we go. That's a head shot. And I can just see one-shot kill challenges falling by the wayside because this thing just absolutely destroys people. In a good way, that is. It just absolutely... Bang! And the re-chamber seems pretty quick. It says that it's three-quarters of a second, but I don't know how much of that I believe. And people were just shocked. I mean, essentially, you just look at them, and then your bolt reaches out and puts a hole in them. Reaches out to touch them, unless you're a Muppet. There's a Muppet there. There's Purple Fish Head. Snoop. Snoop survived that one. I ran out of bullets. I pulled on empty. There's our own Snoop-looking guy. Whoop. So, I mean, can you imagine? Right, sometimes you got to say I love you with a Renetti when you're low on ammo at that time. Oh, that would have been a trip. Only three seconds to reload. I tell you, this is going to be the new... I mean, people running around with a crossbow. This thing here is every bit as powerful as that crossbow is and I think it's a lot easier for most of us to use. I mean there are people who are really good with a crossbow but there are the rest of us who can be really good with hip firing the Jack Lance. Michael Myers is everywhere. That must be the best selling skin of all time because I see that hockey mask faced. There's fish head and Somebody tried to execute Grandpa, but he got gagged. Whoop. Oh, I hit out the Renetti. I was wondering how I got a how I got a hit marker. You can see every time you pull the trigger, you have a chance of doing 
Much destruction. There's Fishhead again, just standing in the back like a Muppet. Hey, that's an instant replay. Those three laying, Muppeting, iron backing. Michael Myers. Look at that. Michael Myers with an iron back. That is shameful. Every, everybody knows that a serial killer doesn't need a shield on his back. A true one from the horror movies would never wear an iron back. I was pretty happy with what I saw. You can see Grandpa jumping up and down, grinning. And buying the farm from an iron back Michael Myers. Oh, shot at my own guy. Got a gack in, Michael Myers' twin brother. Mike Myers and who? Otis Myers, I guess. I don't know what his name is. There's the iron back version. So I almost hesitated to put out this video. Look, okay, there's a collateral. I know, that was a single shot. I almost hesitated to put it out because guess what? I don't want to let people know how powerful this weapon is because I don't want to face it. I mean, it's got to be horrible to be pulling the trigger, putting bullets into an enemy, and then he just flick of the finger and you're gone. There's no recovery. It's a one-shot gag. Let me know what your experience is. I'd love to hear about it in the comments. If you tried this weapon, I heard a few people try it on the stream I was on, some of the people on my team, and they said it was an absolutely horrible weapon. But you know what? Discovered how to use it. As always, a like and subscribe is much appreciated. It helps me, helps the family. Cheers and peace to you.